For 30 years, Just Hockey has supplied the largest range of hockey equipment in Australia, offering all the top brands and a wide range of sticks, pads, shoes and safety equipment. All you need to do is check out the website for your nearest store, the latest specials and breaking news from around the hockey world. Make sure you're playing your best with the best from Just Hockey. So this week on Hockey Zone, we're going to look at stick trapping on attacking penalty corners. But the goal of stick trapping on penalty corners is to stop the ball dead on first touch, just as Britt's done there, and that way you'll give the shooter the best chance to score the goal. So as a starting point for stick trapping, we want to look at the, the setup position before the ball comes out. Britt's in a good position here. She's not too high, not too low. One of the common mistakes we see is when players start on the ground, the ball comes out, they lift and then go back down. So here you can see Brit's too low to start with and then it makes it hard for her to then move. And you can see that Brit's starting low, coming up and then go, having to go back down. If the ball comes out perfectly, she can trap it. But if the ball's offline, then Brit has to move. From that position, it's really hard to move to be able to make that dead trap. So here Brit's in a really good starting position. If the ball's online, she's gonna be fine to get down low early to trap it. But if the ball's offline, then Brit can now move and get down early and make that good trap. And ideally, Brit will get down, as soon as she picks up the line of the ball, she'll get down low early and just wait for the ball to come in. So here we're gonna look at the angle of the stick in relation to the line of the ball. It needs to be perpendicular. Basically, we want a 90 degree angle between the line of the ball and the stick face. Because if your stick is slightly off angle, you can see here, Brit's stick is on this angle, the ball hits here and then goes that direction. So here you can see Brit's stick is on an angle this way, which means that the ball hits here and comes in this direction. Brit's stick is 90 degree to the line of the ball and traps the ball dead. The last thing we want to look at here is the tilt of the stick. You can see here Brit's got the, the stick on a really good angle, so the ball jams in underneath. As it comes in, it jams in underneath and the first touch stops the ball dead. Common mistake we see is when people have their stick face too open and it hits and bounces away. That won't give the dead trap and then that won't give your shooter the best chance to get a good shot on goal. Let's look at two different grips you can use to trap. The first grip that <coughs> Brit is demonstrating here is a grip that is, is, I believe, a good one to use when the pitch is bouncy. You can see her left hand is down the end of the stick, her right hand is more in the middle part of the stick and can even come down this, a bit, this way a bit further. The right hand would be firm, the left hand would be softer and have a more feel to catch the ball coming in. The problem with this type of trapping technique is that the drag flickers don't get an early look at the ball. And so we're definitely encouraging people to use the alternative method that Brit now uses, which is her hands further down the stick. And you can see here, as the ball's trapped, the drag flickers get a really good look at the ball. And the tape that Brit's got on the end of her stick actually is an abrasive surface, which helps to stop the ball dead. You'll notice that on most sticks, there is a shiny surface and the ball won't stop dead as well as it will with tape. And the last point we want to make for all you trappers out there is we want to trap the ball as close as possible to just outside the circle. So here, where Brit's got the ball, if we go back, if you trap the ball there, it takes too long to get the ball into the circle and it's not an easy flick for your flickers to flick off. If Brit's trapping the ball just outside, then straight away, the flickers can come in execute their skill and get a good shot on goal without getting run down. We tend to invest a lot of time in drag flicking and not as much time in injecting or stick trapping. So there's some really good tips for you with stick trapping. Starting position is important. The angle of your stick being square to the line of the ball, the tilt of your stick, and also give the tape a try. It definitely helps. I reckon it's 20% easier to make the traps with some tape on your stick.